Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Banana Bread and welcome back to Fortnite. In this video, I'll be just, um, just giving a, like a really quick uh, summary of each of the new challenges and just show you, just uh, maybe just tell you a few trips and tricks. I'm not really gonna go in, into a game, but yeah. So if you go to the Operation Snowdown Quest tab, I have completed five out of nine to get Snowmando. He is available right now. I hope you're completing all your challenges. Um, first one, revive a player in different matches. This is really easy. Just get a friend, play a, or friends, or and just play a duos, squads, trios, match. Just tell one of them to just immediately just take fall damage. Just revive them back out of the game. Then again, fall damage, revive them. Just do that three times, and boom. Uh, you've completed that. You just revive a player in uh, different type, uh, different uh, separate matches, and then you can get this loading screen. Catch a snowy flopper to get this pickaxe. So um, a snowy flopper is a flopper with a scarf with a face like a snowman. Um. All you have to do is just, just search on Google and you'll like get tons of images on how uh, snowy floppers look. So you can just use that as a reference. Um, and if you look at my map over here, if you can see like my marker like waving crazily, um, ju I suggest like, um, it, I don't think they update the map for this, but there's this huge snowy area right here, southeast of the map, uh, covers Lazy Lake, Retail Row, Caddy Corner, and I think a bit, uh, Kind of right next to uh, Misty Meadows, Snowy Flopper. I uh, know you can like you can get it in fishing holes, but I don't know whether you can get in like these rivers right here where my markers on. If you can see like these river, I don't know whether you can find them there. So just to be safe, uh, I suggest you like find it in the snowy area because I mean it should be called Snowy Flopper for a reason. So I suggest you catch the uh, flopper. Um, try to get the flopper. And maybe not waste your time. Uh, waste your time. But if you guys do get a snowy flopper, like, uh, and get it like in the non-snowy areas, uh, make sure to tell me in the comments below because that would be really helpful for a lot of people. Um, if they uh, look over there. Um, but yeah. So that would be helpful if you uh, tell us. But just to be safe, if you want to catch the snowy flopper, if you just want to complete the challenge, just do it in like the bodies of water uh, in the snowy area. Next, collect gold bars. This does not require like any explaining to do. Uh, explaining, um, we are like three to four weeks into this, uh, four weeks I believe into this season. So you guys should know how to uh, collect gold bars. Also. Um, for best car quest number three, um, I'll put uh, the link to that video in the description below. Um, there, uh, I told you guys how to collect gold bars. You can just use gold saves, destroy uh, couches, chairs, and especially beds. Uh, complete bounties, eliminate players, and collect their gold. So it's really easy. Um, for the best card quest, though, you have to collect 500. In this case, you only have to collect 100. So this should be really, really simple uh, for you guys. The next thing, shoot down uh, opponent structures with X4 X wing, X4 storm wings. Um, the X4 storm wings are just a fancy name for the planes. And what it's trying to say is, uh, if you guys know that if you are, if you're in a plane and you you uh, if you're driving a plane and if you uh, hold the shooting trigger, which you use for like normal weapons like ARs, SMGs, um, the planes do have guns. Uh, though they will kind of like. Um, they're kind of like machine guns. They'll kind of like need to take you need to take it like a tiny break for it to like kind of like recharge, and then you can start shooting again. Just shoot down opponent structures, not your own structures, not your uh, teammate structures, opponent structures. Um, though I this I actually kind of recommend do this in solos because it's much much easier to identify which are the opponent structures because in Team Rumble there's just this one tiny place where everyone is and it's just so chaotic in that tiny space and there's this huge fortress and you don't know who built like which who built which wall and it's really hard i find it really hard uh, for me though please top 10 in friends and squads i did explain this i believe in my previous operation snowdown video all you have to do is just grab three friends play squad games just try your best you have to play place at least 10th 
um, play. Uh, you could be tenth or higher play or a higher placement. Uh, but yeah, so just have to do that three times and you can get that wrap. And so um, if you count this, this is one, two, three, four, five, five more challenges. And if you look, uh, we have completed five challenges already, meaning we have we can complete nine challenges if you complete all the challenges so far. Uh, so we're just two challenges away from getting this uh, other skin, but you can get Snowmander for yourself if you complete uh, all the challenges. So uh, yeah, Snowmando is now available in the game. So don't forget to gr uh, grab that. And uh, yeah, guys, that's all for this video. Make sure to drop a like and hit that subscribe button. And uh, also make sure to check out my Discord server. The link will be in the description below. And if you want to uh, see the tips and tricks um, for the gold bars, uh, just um, look at the best card quest uh, number three video. The link will be in the description below, like I said before. And just search up on Google. Uh, if um, I hope my description was decent. I hope it gave you a little bit of an idea of how a Zoe flopper looks like. And if not, just search up on Google. There'll be tons of images. And um, that's all for this video, guys. I hope you have a great day and goodbye.